I want to see what 45 ACP does in a wood penetration test versus the 380 auto. And there's a perfectly reasonable, reasonable scientific explanation why I'm doing this. And that is because I feel like it. <laughs> I know they're not comparable to each other, but I just want to see what they'll do for kicks. Um, 45 ACP load I'm using. It's a Winchester PDX1 230 grain. It's rated at well over 400 foot-pounds of energy. The 380 is a 90 grain FTX critical events. It's rated at 200 foot-pounds of energy. It's going to be a little bit less out of a 3.5 inch barrel than what it's rated at. So what you got here is you have bullets. 45 ACP is roughly two and a half times the weight of the 380. And it's also about two and a half times as powerful. So it should be interesting uh, to see what it does against 2 by 4s So here we go. Right, I'm going to hit the 380 ACP on the top. Right about here. Let's see what happens. Let's see if it does anything. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Knocked off of there. Alright, now for the uh, 45 ACP. A little bit more knockdown. Okay, I haven't opened it up yet. I just took the wrap off it. You can see right here where I hit with the 380 and the 45. Definitely a bigger hole with that 45. And in this test, that 380 didn't make it through. And it, maybe it did actually. Yes, it did. It did. It's embedded in the second board. I can see it. Exactly what it does in every test. It just didn't make much of a hole through there. The 45 ACP, I mean, they're both hitting the same position about three inches from the top of the board. The 45 made it through, but it's, it, it split it and embedded. It's roughly the same amount of penetration, which is kind of to be expected because the 380 and the 45 ACP are basically the same thing, but the 380 is shrunk down. I mean, it's shrunk down about two and a half times smaller, and it's shrunk down to about two and a half times less energy, and I mean, if you look at a 380 and a 45, they're basically the same thing. So when you get a fatter bullet, it's going to take more power to actually penetrate the same distance as a skinnier bullet. It will take less energy power to, to penetrate. But got a crack from the 45, but I mean it is a little bit off-centered. So that could be why it cracked it, but I think even if I hit dead center, it would crack it. So definitely hit with a lot more force. Now... I wonder what will happen if I hit him with some full metal jackets. Alright, now time to run this test with some full metal jacket ammo. When you got the 45, basically what the 380 is is a miniature 45. It's pretty much all the same specifications. I mean dimensions in comparison to one another. Just one shrunk down. So, full metal jacket versus 2x4s and see what we get. Like with the hollow points, I'm going to run the full metal jackets 380 first and then the 45 ACP and see what we get. Alright, now the 45 ACP full metal jacket. <laughs> wow. Okay, like before, I haven't opened it up yet. 380 ACP, 45 ACP. It's a knot right there, a tiny one, really close. I don't think that affected it though. It's on board two. You probably can't see it, but I can barely see it. It's about halfway into board two. 
So it's a little bit deeper than that hollow point, but not by a whole lot. 45. Right through it, cracked the board. Board two. Wow. Right through board two. Here we are. Flush with board three. And it cracked it. There's one going from the other way. It cracked it. So, that's through a lot of wood there. Clean through two. About a third of the way into the third one where the nose would rest. That is pretty impressive. So, I gotta give this one to the uh, 45.